So this video is surfacing, viral video, surfacing on social media, you know what I'm saying, over in Columbus, Georgia, you know what I'm saying, Columbus, Georgia is a nice county, I love Columbus, Georgia, the people in Columbus, Georgia is peaceful, you know what I'm saying, I guess up until now, because it's a video surface at a barber shop in Columbus, Georgia, where somebody came through and shot up the place. Now, before I get into this news report, I just want to give a shout out to two angels of that's in Columbus, Georgia, that's living in Columbus, Georgia right now. One of them is Charles Abrams, Charles Abrams, and the other one is Travis Bunkley. Charles Abrams and Travis Bunkley, you know what I'm saying? Shout outs. I'm giving two personal shout outs to them. But anyway, man, I tell you, people. You know what I'm saying? Like never before we got to, you know what I'm saying, come back to the law, statute, commandments of the Most High. Because, huh, these Negroes, they don't have no regard for human life. Now, I watched the video, people, and somebody was filming, the barber was filming him cutting somebody's hair. And in the midst of the barber filming him cutting somebody's hair, I guess somebody pulled up, and this happened in broad daylight, because you can see the light, the you know what I'm saying, the the, the light shining from the outside of the um from the inside of the uh the barber shop. So this is broad daylight. You know what I'm saying? And somebody came through in broad daylight and shot up the barber shop. Now it's now he shot and he was shooting. I guess he emptied the clip, and then he. Switch guns and he started to empty the other clip because it was a pause. Pop, 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 and then it was a stop. And then it was pop, 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 pop. And this is like, I mean, come on, people. Let me tell you something. I don't care what somebody have done to you or what somebody didn't do for you. That don't deserve that person to die. Nobody is worthy of death by the hands of somebody else. Because let me tell you something. We all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High God. We all have sinned. So the person that's behind the trigger of this gun... Is just as guilty as the person that he was targeting to kill. Yeah, you hear me, people? Let me let me back that up a little bit. I said the person, whoever this is, and I know the shooter's probably listening too, just to you know what I'm saying, see his work. You know what I'm saying? He wants to see his work. Oh look, I made the news. Look, people talking about me. Well, you idiot, ain't nobody talking about you. Because your face is not showing. I don't even know your name. Nobody know who you are. So really ain't nobody talking about you. What we are talking about here. Is an incident that happened. That almost took somebody's life. God forbid if it did. But almost took somebody's life. We talking about the incident. You understand? If anybody... That should deserve to be a celebrity in this news report. If somebody got hit and they survived. That will be the person that is worthy to be talked about. That will be the person that will be a celebrity. Because if he got hit after all of these bullets hit this damn barbershop. And he survived. Well, he can be a living walking testimony of the Most High God. How the Most High God saved him. So he's the celebrity, not you, Shooter. But being that you did do this, Shooter, you are you innocent? Are you innocent? I'm pretty sure you did a lot of dirt in your life, too. 
UN exempt. Nothing that this man, nothing that your ops have did to you deserve to be dealt with in this manner. Things could easily be handled if both of y'all would have sat down and came to a re resolution. Talked it out. The Bible says if one have a quarrel against another, he is to bring that person in front of the council. And you're supposed to talk it out. The council is supposed to, you know what I'm saying, come to a resolution of the issue. These churches today is not waking up the people. You guys want a church? Come to my church. I got an online church. Every week we teach the truth of the scriptures. We teach the truth on how to how to handle quarrels like this, where incidents like this won't happen, where you don't have to shoot and kill somebody. Send me a friend request to my Facebook page, which is PSTR, Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. And you too, you know what I'm saying? We got Bible study Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Friday night, Saturday night, and now Sunday night. And we teach you the truth, not that damn watered down, slippery slop gospel mess. We teach you who you are. Because if you knew who you was, you wouldn't be shooting each other like this and killing each other. Don't you know they gave you the guns? They dropped, they put the guns in your neighborhood. They made it easy for you to ask, have access to a gun. Because they know that you ain't going to kill them. They know you're going to pick it up and kill your own people. So you're doing exactly what they put out for you to do. When they put the when they made it accessible, the drugs accessible in your neighborhood, they knew you wasn't going to sell it to them. They knew you were going to sell it to your own people and kill your own people. Man, this is not nothing to be glorified. This man did this in broad daylight. I hope they catch this man and lock this man up and throw away the key. Because if he can do this, he can do, he'll kill just about anybody. There's nothing he won't do. There's nothing he won't do. If he can do this, it's nothing he won't do. Anyway, like I said, I want to give a shout out to to. to to the two angels that resides in Columbus, Georgia right now. One of them is Ch Charles Abrams and the other one is Travis Bunkley. Shout outs to you all. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you're new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this juicy news. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. Also, if you want to join my exclusive Facebook Messenger group, you can do so by sending me a friend request to my Facebook page, which is PSTR, Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.